thing first, it makes the management of documents easy. Go into that collection and take a look. Um, there's a section called pre-trained models where it lists all the embedding models that are suitable for being used with open web UI. And here we go. I click open and it's going to upload and compute a vector embedding and put it in a vector embedding database for me. Don't forget to give us likes, leave your comments, share us to your friends, and also subscribe to our channels. We have YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Facebook. That's about community. Don't forget that you have community so that you can get some models uh, that people have done before. On the second topic is the knowledge. This is related to RAG, right? You want to find an answer within your knowledge base or document sets or something like that. So a new update is very good. Thing first, it makes the management of documents easy. So yeah, I can go into that collection and take a look at the information or data or text inside it, right? That's pretty cool. I don't remember it having this feature back then. So if you are going to import or create a new knowledge base, you click this button and you give it a name, MBA knowledge, describe this. This is a knowledge base about MBA course uh, will be helpful in answering business related questions. Okay. And then you create the knowledge. Now you have options to upload file, upload a whole directory, sync the directory and add a text, like manually adding text content. So I am going to upload a whole directory and I am navigating to my MBA sources here. And here we go. I click open and it's going to upload and index that um, for me. Index well, com compute a vector embedding and put it in a vector embedding database for me. And this is going to take a while because there's probably like 10, almost 20 files inside that folder and subfolders. So while it's completing this um, embedding creation, so let's take a look into how can we configure embedding models. See, there are 33 files, it's being calculated. So the embeddings that is responsible for digesting um, input files is located in the admin page where you can access the admin page, ad, admin panel right here and come to settings and again, come to documents. So in this um, page, it allows you to specify the embedding models and whether you want a hybrid search or not. So the default is a sentence transformer. And this is a field where you can specify what um, embedding models that you want to use, but it has to be Icebird uh, based models. So Icebird um, based models, where do I know it is? So usually, it's going to be relying on the sentence transformers um, repo on GitHub uh, and uh, expert.net as well. So if you come to this website, um, there's a section called pre-trained models where it lists all the embedding models that are suitable for being used with open web UI. And you can compare performance on 14 datasets or semantic search and the speed as well. So typically, if I remember correctly, a default go to uh, when you just pull um, open web UI to your laptop and run, um, run it, it's going to be this guy um, because it's very fast. The speed is high um, with minimal or very low impact on its um, performance. So yeah, this is typ typically what you see when you use um, open web UI off the batch. So one thing you can change it by, let's say that you want to change it to this guy, right? You can go to the hacking face uh, model card and 
you copy this one and you paste it into this box. You paste it into this box. That's what I did. But be warned, if you change the embedding models, you need to recompute your document. The reason is that different embedding models will result in different um, vectors embedding, even though it's on it's compute the same document. So when you change the embedding model, you need to redo all your knowledge here, right? It's going to be tedious for sure, but that's the thing. That's what you need to do. Somehow it's very slow. Uh, I think this is because, 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 where is it? It's because I am using this guy, all MPNet base V2. Here we go, all MPNet base V2. Um, it's a large model, larger model compared to um, what you have, uh, the default value here. So yeah, it's very slow. So let me just show you that I want to kill the process here. I can do delete. So let me just put it back to a faster models. But just for illustration purposes, I am going to use this guy. So I will go to the hacking face and copy this. Go to my settings, document, and paste this guy in and hit enter. If this works, yeah, it works. So now the model has been lo downloaded to um, the open web UI uh, Docker or space. Now what you need to do is go back to whatever it is and you sync directory. This will reset the knowledge base and sync all files. Sure, let's do it. Oops, what is happening here? Seems like it's still, uh, okay, I think it's broken. Go to knowledge, AI for business. Let's add MBA knowledge, knowledge base about business and MBA. That's a face. And then I will upload a directory. And for the sake of um, demonstration, I will just use smaller folder right here. And you can see that the embedding gets much faster. Okay, let's wait when it's done. Oh, what is happening? Uh, I think I killed the process in the mean uh, while it was calculating. That's why it's getting s slow, I think. Is there anything here? No, okay, yeah. So I am going to upload the um, consulting paper again. So while it's doing its thing, let's um, dig a little bit deeper into the embedding models. So here we go. So this is the compilation of um, sentence transformer models used for creating vector embeddings as well as semantic search. And there is a leaderboard in Hugging uh, Face Hub. So MTEB is the data set. Data set that is used to test um, the model's performance. It stands for Massive Textual Embedding Benchmark. And this is the leaderboard. And you can see here that um, there are many, many models on this board. So you can focus on open source model and check the proper, uh, proprietary one and you probably un uh, unselect something else. Let's see, I will just unselect everything except the sentence transformer. I want a small model as well. And this is the result uh, of the filtering. So if you want to take a look, actually, if you want to use any one of these guys, um, what you can do is going to be select one of them and do the same thing. Copy this and put it in the open web UI box over here. Now, um, if you enable the hybrid, you have an access to a re-ranking model. Why do we need to re-rank? So when you do um, rack, the system will retrieve an X number of chunks that is the closest to um, the query, right? The most related uh, 
adjuncts to the query. But you will get a better performance when you also re-rank those um, selected chunks as well. And there are many um, re-ranker models out there. So you come here again to the MTEV leaderboard and you select uh, re-ranking here. And this is going to be a list of uh, model that you want to use, right? You can select um, anything like BGE base English. Or if you try Stella English, you can do that too. But in my um, OpenWI right now, I'm using this guy. It's quite big, I think. Anyway, so that's how um, you configure your embedding model and ranking model if you are using a default sentence transformer. Another possibility is set up uh, with um, Olama, but you need to have that we render um, model downloaded, or you know, use an API call to Open AI, which will be like calling this endpoint, and also your key, uh, Open AI API key. You can select the embedding model here. I think there are three variations: small, medium, large, for the embedding. And this is how many sentences you are going to uh, in, uh, compute the embedding per compute, right? For now, I am going to use the sentence transformer default on my laptop here. Did it change back? Yeah, I think it changed back automatically somehow. If I'm happy with this, I will save it, right? Now, when I saved it, I can, let's take a look at this guy. I think it's stuck calculating or uploading stuff. I don't know. I think I have corrupted it somehow. So let me just delete, confirm, delete, confirm. Let's uh, just get start from nothing. So make sure that this guy is here. Okay, so save and go to knowledge, VA again. Okay, let's create knowledge and upload a whole directory. Um, let's go to MBA files and marketing, select it. Okay. Seems like I have done this so many times and doesn't really go anywhere. Okay. Um, so if it works, you can equip it to a model. So one, one process, one document has been done. So let's try to use the knowledge. If you want to access the knowledge base collection, what you need to do is put a shop there and you will get to select what knowledge base collection that you want to use for, for the LM to base its uh, answer about. So uh, here we go. Um, what is happening? Fail to add files. You could file what you're looking for. That is really strange. What is marketing collateral? Is it going to work? No. Actually, here, the context provider doesn't specifically define marketing collateral based on my knowledge. Marketing collateral refers to a collection of media. So it's answering based on its, um, its knowledge because it said that it doesn't, uh, it couldn't find anything related to marketing um, collateral. And maybe it's because the document hasn't been uploaded properly yet, but again, if you can take a look at this, um, the citation, you can also see the relevance score um, of this chunk. And this chunk appear in page number two of this file, right? Here we go. So even though it doesn't really work perfectly because my knowledge base is somehow corrupted, it's very slow today. I don't know why. So let me just try to let it regenerate the answer again. It's converting this to, um, here we go. Corrupt role refer to correction of media and materials used to support the sales and marketing of a product or service. Is it in one of this guy? Let's take a look. Funnels. I'm not confident at all with this. Oh, what did I do? This is the first document that it thinks that it's related to the question. I don't see any marketing collateral here. No, I think it hasn't been 
um, the knowledge base hasn't been really updated to solve this question. All right. Let me try it again. Sharp. What is marketing collateral? Collateral. Searching stuff. You don't need to uh, enable anything here before. So marketing collateral refers to collection of, I think this is it. This is the actual answer. All right. So yeah, that's how it works, guys. Um, the knowledge base has been upgraded. You can easily come and delete the document you don't want. You can actually select that piece of file and see what's inside. Uh, marketing one, here we go. Yes, it, it only ex uh, extracts um, text, right? No images at all. So be, be, beware of that. If your document is um, image or non-text heavy, I don't think you are going to get a good um, knowledge base search. Okay. Yeah, that's about um, the knowledge. And I told you about embeddings too, right? Be careful that you need to choose a bird type. And somehow if you pick the wrong one, when you put it in this box and you hit enter, this guy is going to bounce back very quickly and there is going to be a alert message that the error has occurred.